The Timer Pro Excel template has the ability to support up to 10 subjects being time studied simultaneously. You can read about that if you go to the Subjects tab on the template and you hover over cell A1, A for Apple 1, it says enter up to 10 subjects. Now the problem has been in the past, it's almost impossible to, n to keep track of 10 subjects at a time. So what we've done in the new version 11, we've actually updated the uh, the handheld program to show you what each of the subjects is doing so that you can actually monitor more than just two or three subjects at a time which is typically what we've seen in the past here. So if I bring up the device here and here what we're going to do is you can see I've got operator 1 selected up here. If I go to my subject button here you can see all of the subjects that we have listed in the Excel sheet in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working and recording operator number one. So I hit the return button to remove that and I just hit the start button. And it comes up because I've got a predefined format that says get work order. And let's assume he's doing that. I just hit the subject button again and you can see now it shows you here operator number one is getting the work order. Right? So if I hit the return button and I hit the time a couple of times and now he's doing the pack. I go to the subject button again. You can see he's now doing the pack. Now let's say he's working on the pack, and now operator uh, number two appears. So we select number two. It comes up here. You can see it's operator number two, and we hit the start button. And let's assume that he's uh, he's updating the IT record. So we just select that one directly here. So we touch that, and it says update IT record down at the bottom here. And if I go to my subject. You can see now, we can see what operator number one is doing, operator number two is doing. And maybe the packer arrives as well. You can see it says packer at the top here. And then he's packing. So we start it. And it wants to use the default, but I'll just say it's packing. So I'll change it to pack there. And you can see now, if I go to the subject here, it shows you that the packer is now packing. All right, and maybe the supervisor arrives. So we select the supervisor. And we hit the start button on that and he's doing some other work here. So we're identifying that here. So you can see here that we're starting to identify what every person here is doing in the, in the study here. Maybe the forklift is here and maybe that requires that the operator is walking to the storage. And we do the subject here. So if you want to go back to operator number two, you just touch the operator two and you hit the time and let's say he's walking to storage now and that's fine. We go back there and you see them all changing and updating here. So what this does, it gives you a kind of hub, if you like, that you can focus on to see what a, a larger number of subjects are doing at the same time if you want to focus on different activities being performed by different operators. You can see what everybody's doing right by looking at this one little panel right here. And then jump between it to go right to each of the uh, subjects uh, particular data collection area.